During Black Music Month, WVON is proud to present One Band, One Sound as we salute the musicians who created the soundtracks to our lives. One Band, One Sound is powered by ComEd, Toyota on Western, and the Chicago White Sox. Now, here's the godfather of Chicago's music scene, Mr. George Daniels. Today's featured band is arguably one of the most underrated of its generation. They delivered a series of number one hits in the 1980s. Atlantic Star, with their musical versatility, put the soul back in the soul music for their many legions of fans. Atlantic Star was formed back in 1976 in Greenberg, New York. The original lineup consisted of 11 musicians, including three talented brothers, David, Wayne, and Jonathan Lewis, who along with a female lead singer, Sharon Bryant, became the face of the band. The band moved out to California and performed in the club scene for several years as the new band. It was jazz musician and record executive Herb Alpert who discovered them, quickly signing them to his label A&M. Alpert didn't like their stage name, so the members eventually settled on two words, Atlantic Star. The 11-membered Atlantic Star shrunk to eight, and with their new name and label began pumping out the hits. The first, the 1981 mid-tempo hit, When Love Calls, it was followed by a slow ballad, Sin For Me, and the hits just kept coming, with songs like Circles, More, 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 and Touch A Four-Leaf Clover. By 1985, there was another shakeup in Atlantic Star, including the defection of the band's lead singer, Sharon Bryant. She was replaced by Barbara Weathers, and they trimmed down the eight-piece band to a quintet. But it was the combination of the band members and their new lead singer that would deliver Atlantic Star's biggest hits ever, a ballad that went to the top of the R&B and pop chart and set off a storm of controversy with its revealing lyrics. The song was Secret Lovers. Atlantic Star was once again on a roll. They followed the success of Secret Lovers with several other chart-topping hits, including Always and If Your Heart Isn't In It. But Atlantic Star continued to change members and eventually lost their label and some say their sound. They continued to perform with several of the band's original members, but you can't recognize great R&B bands without mentioning Atlantic Star. They put real soul in the 1980s. They were one band with one sound. I am George Daniels. Thanks for listening. WVON's Black Music Month feature, One Band, One Sound, is powered by our friends at Toyota on Western, the Chicago White Sox, and ComEd. Visit WVON.com for a video featuring today's band.